Greetings, nail peoples. Hello. Oh, dang it. Oh, that's some lovely hair I got going on. All right. Hello. Oh, hi, Liz. Long time no see. Hello, hello, everybody. It is May 31st. It is Nails Over Coffee. I am Michelle Cordes Pugh, and today we have Mornings Aren't Pretty. Because while though it was pretty outside today and this morning, not so pretty in my head. So, mm. thank you, Charlotte. That's what happens when I straighten it. So, um, I'm glad you guys can't see the gray, though, because, boy, let me tell you, I could. Um, okay, so... My Dazzle Dry, still doing fabulous. Did more dishes, cleaned the kitchen again. Still doing fab. Hello! Oh, see? And we just had a Dazzle Dry person chime in, so I'll say, see, look. And we won't tell the Dazzle Dry people that these have been little scraping tools. But they're not chipped. But, ta-da! Hearts of Fire, Dazzle Dry. All right, so I've been cruising the different um, nail um, magazine sites, and I, um, Charlotte, I've emailed Dazzle Dry again. Fingers crossed I can get some to try soon. All right, do you hear that, Dr. Vivian Valenti? Charlotte wants Dazzle Dry, and she's emailed, and she's in the UK. So somebody answer her, please. Um, okay, so... Um, so in light of yesterday's discussion about gels, um, I got a message from a viewer who said that she has a gel thinner that she's used for quite some time. And she sent me a picture of the bottle of it today. It is Gel Loose um, by uh, La Chat. And, um, so I'm interested, I, I found a tutorial video on it from 2013 in Nails Magazine, so I'll post that in the comments below on Facebook. And um, it says it's a universal gel thinner. Now, I don't see how that's possible, and I'm going to try to find the ingredients so that, um, oh, uh, Vivian wants to know Charlotte when the email was sent. Um, and, uh, so I'm, I'm going to post the tutorial video for this Jaloose. If anybody has used it, I'd like some feedback in the comment section below. And, um, if anybody has where they can take a snapshot of the back of the bottle or the ingredients list or something, um, and, uh, because I would like to run that by my favorite chemist, Dr. Vivian Valenti, and um, see if she can help me figure out what the story is with this saying that it is universal. Gel polishes and gel hybrids and all the formulations are so different that I don't know how there could possibly even be one thinner to rule them all. And if so, why in the world um, has it not, this light's bugging me. Why in the world, there we go, oh, much better. Um, why in the world has it not taken off since that's something everybody has been looking for? So, well, darn it, Charlotte. It looks like it has not been received by Dazzle Dry. So, we'll have to figure that out. What are we talking about? We are talking about the Jalous Gel Thinner by La Chat that one of the viewers messaged me and let me know that there was a gel thinner. Um, and I found a tutorial since uh, on Nails Magazine from um, nailina36 at gmail.com. Oh, oops, I said that out loud. Sorry, Charlotte. Yeah, that's for Vivian. <laughs> um, so this is um, 
Andrea, yes, I use gel thinner by, I think it's the chat. Okay, well, that's what this is. And let me see if I can find the picture and you can tell me if this is it. Is that what it looks like? Um, I don't see how it's possible to have a universal gel thinner, although in their, oh, it doesn't look like that? Okay. Well, in their defense, whoever is doing a universal thinner, at least they're doing a thinner. Let's see, Andrew says mine is blue, but it only says gel thinner. Hmm. Um, so it, if you use Le Chat products, then it's awesome because at least their gel polishes have a thinner. So if nothing else, if you're having a problem with your polish, gel polishes thickening a lot, if you use the Le Chat line, you would have a thinner that would work tomorrow. Um, oh, cool, Andrea, thanks. Andrea's gonna post a picture tomorrow um, under the Facebook post. So I did pull up a tutorial video for it though, off of um, Nails Magazine's tutorials. And so I'm gonna post that, but um, so, oh, Victoria, yeah, I know, works. That thing that pays our bills, right? Um, you can catch it on a replay. So um, let's see. Oh, okay, client. Um, so that, um, I thought was very interesting. So I'd really like to look at the chemicals in some of these um, gel thinners um, because I would like to see what they are in relation to the products that are, you know, the compounds that are in gel. So um, anyway, I thought that was super interesting. So if you use the chat, you, they have a gel polish thinner. Also, I was on Instagram and has any of you, um, okay, well in the UK, it's iHeartNailsUK.com and they, um, they have, let's see if I can pull it up some amazing glitters and stamping polishes. So has anybody used um, the I Heart Nails, um, let's see if I can find them, the I Heart Nails glitters and stamping polishes I think are by, well maybe I saved it in my um, Safari. Let's see, a We Heart Nails UK, maybe that's it. Um, yeah, We Heart Nails UK and um, dot com. We Heart Nails UK. And they have some of these amazing glitters. Hard to t see, but they have an online store and they sell Born Pretty stamping polish. Um, it's also a blog. Um, I saw UK Tech using them and they look beautiful, right, Charlotte? Yeah, they do look really pretty. And um, they have a blog too where they try out products and everything and post it. So um, weheartnailsuk.com. Um, Andrea says, I have creative play and caption, and in my opinion, they both suck for stamping. I would agree with you on that. I don't mind the black caption or the gold caption, but the white is so I can't wait. Yeah, MoU London has, um, I have some MoU London plates and um, I know they have a stamping polish too that um, works really well. Um, so just giving those UK peeps over there some options. Um, at this point, Andrea only likes Mundo de Unas. Um, well, we're gonna change your mind when we keep working on other stamping polishes from other companies, but I am interested in trying Lauren Wireman's Stamping Goop, which just releases on the third. It's up on the website, but you can't um, purchase it yet until the third, um, but I'm pretty sure she's gonna have some at Premiere this weekend. So, um, so, 
you know, I'm really interested to try that out. And her plates, I think, at $8.99, um, I really like that they're hand-drawn by her and handmade. Um, I think that's super cool. I like supporting that part of our industry. And um, she couldn't find the perfect stamping polish, so she made one. And I really kind of dig that. And her glitters are pretty bomb, too. And so, um, yes, glitter, creative arts, um, Dot de yes that is those are the amazing glitters that I want to import here into the US and sell on um, the site I might work with you a little bit Tina on figuring out how it best for me to go about that seeing as I don't speak German so I can read the web page enough to get by but not enough to really answer a lot of my questions so I might need an interpreter there um, so, yeah, because um, I think it's um, a million diamonds or something like that is from Creative Arts is like the most amazing glitter. I want it so much. And then there's a gray one, too. I saved all the names somewhere. Um, no, I cannot speak the Deutsch, but I know you can, Andrea. Um, yes, she cannot speak in the Deutsch. Um, Dow's Dry is developing stamping polishes. The issue could be price. Um, I will ask you on Facebook. And um, yes, so see there, you got it from the horse's mouth. Dazzle Dry is working on stamping polishes. Um, yeah, just have to figure out the optimum size bottle so that the bottle is as useful as possible and at the right price point because stamping polishes are something that generally last a long time because you don't use a whole lot of them. It's not like regular polish. So, um, you know, if you have any questions on that, Dr. Valenti, you always know I'm your girl. So I'll help with you with that. Um, so, um, yeah, you know, I've been searching around on the blogs and a lot of stuff and they're, everybody's gearing up for Premier Orlando. So they're just really isn't, it's very quiet out there because this weekend with Premier Orlando, we'll get blasts of all kinds of information and releases and stuff, but nobody wants to steal the thunder from their booths they paid $2,500 for, plus all the travel expenses and getting the product there and everything. So um, everybody's being kind of mum right now, which is a bummer for those of us who aren't going to Premier Orlando. So, do you guys have anything you would like to talk about? Talk about? Um, oh, cool. Sounds good. I will look for that, Vivian. Um, has anybody, yes, has anybody got anything they want to bring up? Well, what's expensive? Oh, I must not have seen it. I must have been looking down. I'll have to help with that. Um, anybody ever tried Jalay's? I have. I didn't like it any better or worse than any other. So it didn't give me reason to switch from what I use. Um, gel polish. Let's see. What do you say, Henrietta? How do you handle the gel polishes that don't seem to soak off? Uh, unless it's my polish... Um, right, like that they have the neon colors, right? Um, so if it's not gel polish that I put on, I always use a sanding band to take the top layer off to get me through the top coat. So if they used a non-soak off top, top coat over soak off gel, I've at least broken that barrier. Um, if I wrap them in foil and after doing that and I leave them for eight minutes and I pull it off and it hasn't budged, I pull them all off and I use a sanding bit to take it off. I'm not gonna sit there for 25 minutes trying to figure it out. Um, that's why I charge extra for somebody to have gel polish removed that wasn't done by me. And if it's my product doing that, then I didn't run proper product testing because I make sure that that doesn't happen before I take on um, any polish lines to use on my clients. So that's how I handle it. Um, oh good, there's lots going on here. You guys talk amongst yourselves. Talk amongst yourselves, eh? 
Um, I'm going to have a right spot of coffee. Barry isn't here to enjoy my British accent because I still want to get her to do her American one. This angle, it kind of looks like I have a lamp coming out of my head. Maybe I should turn a little bit because doesn't it look like I have a lamp coming out of my head and trees look like Yahoo Serious. Um, so yeah, what, um, let's see, does anyone have pics they've done with mini nail files? You're laughing at my British accent. I know, right? I have to come hang out with you guys and so I can pick up some of your accent. Don't properly. It acts like it's trying to come off and I end up filing. Yeah, you know, um, is that, Henrietta, is that a brand that you normally use or is that a brand that you didn't apply um, and, and somebody came in? Or was that a brand that you were trying it for the first time? That'll help me determine the answer. Charlotte, what area are you from? I'm wondering what your accent is. <laughs> um, Sounded a bit Dick Van Dyke from Mary Poppins. Of course it was, because I love Mary Poppins, and I love all that. Um, so, so it wasn't your application. Okay, yeah. When I take people in like that, it is a $10 removal charge. It is, I, like I said, I start filing the top off. If you're not comfortable using an e-file to do it, which I'll teach you during the webinar, um, then um, just use a 100 grit file, which I know seems super aggressive to go over the natural nail, but just make sure you stay away from the grow out and knock all the top coat off before you wrap. Um, yeah, but I'll teach you how to do it with an e-file if you're not comfortable doing it that way. During the webinar that I did the for pay plan and nobody signed up, so that wasn't it. Um, I told I sound like a farmer. I'm in Southampton, right old Hampshire. <laughs> um, so webinar sign up still going on, still 347. Um, so I know, right? So whoever signs up is going to get a super, super awesome education experience um, because Right now, I only have a few people, and I'm still going to put the class on just like I would if I had more. So those people are going to get some really great education. Um, so, yeah, Charlotte and Victoria are talking about their accents in the UK. No reason for me to read that off. Um, so, okay. So I'm going to ask a question. Flash poll. If you could... Hmm, on a good one. If you could just go to sleep tonight and wake up tomorrow morning at an expert in something nails, what would it be? I'll start. Mine would be one stroke painting. I wish I could just wake up tomorrow and just be an expert at one stroke painting. One stroke says Victoria, okay. Uh, snap, right? That's us. Let's see what everybody else has to say. Yeah. Um, perfect shape, says Kylie. Cool. Cool. Um, and if you're watching this on the replay later, feel free to comment on the Facebook painting below. Um, Tina says fine line painting. Uh, Andrea's one stroke, 3D gels. I said one thing, Andrea. Um... Kylie, shaping of all nail styles. Hola, Mary. We're talking about if you could go to sleep tonight and wake up tomorrow an expert in something that has to do with nails, what would it be? And Charlotte says acrylic, as it's such a popular choice. Good reasoning, good reasoning. Yes, you have to pick one. If you could be an expert in one thing nails tomorrow morning when you woke up, because it just osmosis happened over the night, what would it be? Uh, Meyerly draw lines, <laughs> right? Um, let's see. So yeah, if you're watching this on replay, you can feel free to comment your one thing on the Facebook comments below um, this video. Um, so that was kind of fun. <laughs> Can't draw nails to save your or draw lines to save your life, Meyerly. I think 
there's probably a video out there to help with doing that. I'm pretty good at lines, but see, si. right? See, si, senorita. Oh, we must have Melissa the manicurist in the house. Melissa, if you could go to sleep tonight and wake up tomorrow morning, um, oh, Vivi wants to be able to use stencils. If you could wake, go to bed tonight, wake up tomorrow morning, an expert in one thing that has to do with nails, what would it be? And we've had answers like drawing lines, using stencils, one stroke, um, getting perfect shape on all the nails. Um, let's see what other answers did we have. Um, one stroke, gel, acrylic. That was fun though. I think everybody who's watching who's on the app answered. Ingrown removal. Oh. My God, you need to sign up for my webinar because I could so teach you a whole lot of stuff about that. Um, I know it was a hard question. It was a hard question for me to think it up, but um, but I had to think up something because I there's just not a lot going in the world of nails today. You guys seriously cannot see that gray hair. Look at that. Sorry, that's probably a little too up and close and personal, but I can see it. Oh my gosh, it makes me crazy. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome for joining us. We are just trying to come up with things to chat about because there's so little going on in the world of nails. I just asked the question, if you could go to sleep tonight and wake up in the morning and be an expert at something nails, what would it be? Um, comment below on um, the Facebook page. Um, yeah, perfect nail shapes for problem nails, says Tina. I know, it was so exciting. Um, okay, and gel application. So what kind, what part of gel application would, um, are you having um, a, you've mastered acrylic, right? Yeah, me too. Um, uh, sculpting, or do you just kind of have a problem overall? Or like, let's, let's talk about it. Let's talk about what kind of problems we're having. Sculpting? Yeah, I really, it took me a long time. I, um, I could sculpt with the gel I used to use, but I didn't love it. In fact, I kind of hated it, but I could do it. Um, and now that I switched to another gel, I like sculpting much, much better. That's not gray, that is strands of glitter. Yeah, you're awesome, Victoria, but dude, there is gray in there. Although my lovely client, who's a hairstylist, has said that she would um, balayage my hair, so I think that's gonna be coming up soon. Yeah, nail scopes have been quiet lately, right, Melissa? Um, I don't like that I can't soak off hard gel. Well, that was the reason why they came off, came up with soak off gels, though. They're just different, you guys are kind. I can totally see my gray. You just can't see it because of the resolution of the camera, and I'm totally okay with that. Um, Mirely, I have cat's gray hair because they just don't grow. <laughs> um, Kylie, I learned backwards, sculpting before tips. Thanks, Glenda from Accents, right? Even for sculpting. Yes, there are soak off gels for sculpting. Um, unfortunately, Brisa Light um, is discontinued, but Brisa Light had a sculpting gel, which a builder gel, which I used. And um, I believe Accents has a soak off sculpting gel. So a soak off gel that um, you can still, that you know, you can still use for building enhancements. So you should look into that. A lot of people really like accents. Um, I tried the Luxio gel polish. I really liked it. Uh, Kylie says, yes, options clear can be sculpted. There you go. Um, Meyer Lee would like to be able to create perfect pink and whites. Perfect pink and whites in what, Meyer Lee? Acrylic or gel or gel polish or regular polish? French has always been kind of my thing. It's the era I came out of nail school in because if you couldn't do a French manicure, you couldn't do nails back then. So, um, Charlotte, oh, went gray at 21. She had chemo for the first time. Sad. <laughs> That's a bummer. Uh, acrylic, <laughs> acrylico. <laughs> Thank you, Mirely. Um, love French. Yeah. Um, I can definitely help some with that um, in my Salon Successors webinar. And also, um, Tammy Taylor videos are really good 
Uh, I tried to soak off gel from Mega Mix. It was okay. It soaked off too slow, though. Yeah, I'm not digging the um, mixing. Um, uh, no, Crohn's is just as bad. Blech. Charlotte. Um, just trying to think. Yeah, look at um, acrylic is not my friend. We'll get that fixed up for you, Henrietta. We'll get that fixed up for you. Acrylic is my expert medium, so we'll get y'all straightened out on that during the webinar. But also, yeah, so if you don't do the webinar and stuff like that, um, the Tammy Taylor Nails videos, especially the older ones, are really good for pink and white um, sculpting. And um, there's some good ones from Creative. Um, I encourage if you're having problems with your pink and whites, on acrylic try both reverse and traditional one might work better for you than the other i like traditional better um, but i know reverse does some cool stuff it wasn't the mega mix gel it's actually a uv and gel enhancement product i tried for them oh oh yeah um here i just it's that whole specialty thing um oh gotta unlock the door for the kid hold on play the jeopardy music in your head okay so um, I think about it a lot like, I missed that if that was meant for me. Um, I think about it a lot like this. I don't go to a steakhouse and order chicken. I don't go to a, you know, breakfast place and get mad when I can't get a good steak. And restaurants that serve everything tend to have nothing that's exceptional. So I think about that a lot when I think about my suppliers. Um, I buy acrylic from a company that they have gel and gel polishes and all that kind of stuff, but acrylic is the heart and soul medium of the company and you can tell it's awesome. Um, I use gel from a company that is all gel. Um, and I use polish from a company that Dazzle Dry that's just focusing on natural nail care and polish. So that's not saying that no manufacturer can serve everybody because of course they can and it depends on you, the buyer and all that kind of stuff. But if you're having a problem with a particular medium, um, Meyerly, I love acrylic. I just wish it didn't smell. I hate the non-smelling ones. Too much filing, right? The Tammy Taylor Nails Odorless was pretty good. That's the only one I was able to handle. Um, so, yeah, the sticky layer. It was nice with Tammy Taylor Nails because there was a, a surface cleaner that was like alcohol, and you sprayed it on the nails, and it made that harden up. Can't stay? All right. Bye, Melissa. Um, and then you could just roll that inhibition layer off with a file and then you were just filing like on acrylic it was actually really good but it never caught on um because it set slow Th that's just the way it has to work you know um that's chemistry so um um kylie i love acrylic and all the beautiful things you can do i just suck and no market for it here where are you at kylie um and Henry, I learned with hand and nail harmony, acrylic and school. Yeah, you know, and so here's the thing. OPI had similar. So here's the thing. This is my thing. Um, I like the smell too. Um, smells like money. It smells like money and beauty. Um, so here's the thing though. If you're having problem with a particular medium, then maybe try going trying a product that that's their specialty or try a few of them and see if that helps. So I have struggled with finding a gel product that I really liked. Well then just get better ventilation, Miley. We gotta, we'll have to work on that. Um, oh, Saskatchewan, middle of nowhere, right, Kylie? Um, 2,100 people, right? Um, the good thing is, though, is if you get good at it and you make yourself like the person in town to go to, then you'll have every acrylic client in town. So that's kind of cool. Cool way to think about it. But um, so I switched. I never had a gel that I really liked. And so um, 
I switched to Masterworks and I went to a class with Amy and it's till I love gel now. Um, I found the clearest krill, clear acrylic. Where, where did you, what did you find? That? If, I swear if you say slick pour, Andrea, I'm going to, <laughs> there you go. It's by Tones. Does it, um, is it liquid and powder? Um, you like Young Nail Synergy Gel? Yeah, a lot of people really like that, Henrietta. Yeah, everybody got to laugh out loud out of the Andrea. I swear if you say, say slick pour. Um, very clear and yes. Um, cool. Cool. You know, as long as you're working with it, you know. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm sort of mad about the want Young Nails thing. So I think they might have just lost me for Slick Pour too. Bummer too. It was a great idea. Um, Kylie, I want to try Tammy Taylor acrylic, but no idea where to get in Canada. Tammy Taylor does ship internationally. So if you call 1-800-93-TAMMY uh, uh, or email them, um, I, I think it's info at TammyTaylorNails.com, but you might want to check that on the website. I know they do international shipping and I believe they might even have a sales rep at the corporate office for um, just for Canada. So you might want to check that out. Um, I can double check that. Um, here in a minute. In fact, let me double check it right now. While we're live on the air, I hope you're paying attention, Art, not eating lunch. I am going to send a message to Art at Tammy Taylor Nails, my sales rep, and say, do you ship to Canada and who's the rep? All right, we'll see if Art sends back a uh, message telling us who to buy from in Canada. Yeah, the exchange rate does kind of suck right now, but, um, ooh, yuck, Victoria just had a spider drop on her. Yeah, the exchange rate between Canada and here really sucks right now, um, which is kind of a bummer, but knowing that for products, you're going to spread it over many clients, so figuring it, when you start spreading it out over cost per service, um, it's not as bad as it seems. It just hurts like a when you gotta. Um, it hurts really. Ouch. Um, Henrietta, have you ever heard of acrylic not sticking well at high altitude? No, I've never heard of that. In fact, I can't even imagine why that would be. That's ridiculous. It would have more to do with temperature. So higher altitudes are cooler by nature. And so it would have more to do with temperature than anything else. Um, Art just answered, we do. Are you needing things shipped there or someone else? Someone else. One of my viewers. There. I know, right? See, and that's the thing. You talk about customer service. When I want to order from Art, I can, right, coolers just slower. I can send him a text message with my order and he will send me back my total. Um, I, any of their sales reps you can do this with. Um, yeah, that's, it's baloney. Um, the altitude thing. Um, I, so I can text my order in every Monday. He texts me with the specials for the week. Um, you can order online, but once you, find out who your rep is and you establish that um, rapport, then you can do that. Um, okay, uh, for Canada, for Tammy Taylor Nails, you will contact Yiza, W-Y, or blah, 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 let me try that again. Um, I'll talk about Tammy Taylor in a second. Um, <laughs> right, um, Yiza, Y-I-Z-A, she's the extension 241, so you can call 1-800-93-TAMMY, um, uh, nine, three, eight, two, two, no, two, anyway, spell it out on your phone, 93 Tammy, um, and, uh, extension 241 is who you will call for Canada, so big shout out to, um, I use Tammy Taylor exclusively as my acrylic product. Um, because 
it was, you can tell it was developed by a nail tech. And so for someone like me, because I like super fast set, super fast set. And Tammy Taylor Nails has an option that is super fast set. They have slower setting options too, but they've got um, super fast set and um, lots of colored acrylic powders, um, lots of nail bed colored acrylic powders. You can mix powders together to get something a little more custom if that's what you want. Um, the clear is really clear. Yes, it is self-leveling. Um, Basically, you set it down, push it where you want it. You don't have to press. You just kind of put it where you want it, keep it where you want it, and then move on. So I like that um, there's lots of products that I call push and poke products, and they're products that require, they usually are covalent bond products. They require full contact um, with the nail plate to get the bonding to start. And so they're the products that you see people put down and they press them down with their brush and you lift their brush and then they're pushing because they're having to get, yeah, CND is a covalent bond product because they're having to get that full contact with the nail plate. Nail acrylics that generally ones that use a acid primer um, are more they're a hydrogen bond not a covalent bond um, so they are a contact bond so you can set it down and then kind of give it a little push where you want it if you need to but it'll flow out and then you can just stroke it out and move on um, which is why I've never switched away from an acid primer system. Um, I'm certified in CND. Um, I used it at the spa I worked at. Now, if one has ratio problems, Elite Beauty Supply has great acrylic. Yeah, I've heard that, Andrea. Um, so, ratio problems just come from practice. Um, so, CND is a push, push, push product. I found that Elegance elegant glass was as well when I did a trial with it um, beautiful but it's a push product and I don't like that um, entity seemed to be more my style workable wise um, so you have to figure out how you work are you a pity patter you know what I mean um, if you are a pity patter and you're somebody who likes to work the product then you need to find a covalent bond product you like because it's going to give you more um, time to work with it. Yeah, see if you're a pat, 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 then you know what I mean? I'm a um, place and move on. You ruined two brushes at the CND class, Henrietta? Oh my goodness. Yeah, we'll get you all straightened out. Um, so, but if you're somebody who likes to just go, Put it down, get going, move on, then you're gonna want um, a, as I call it, it's like the Showtime rotisserie cooker. You're gonna wanna set it and forget it kind of product. So, all right guys, well, I have made up talking for 40 minutes about virtually nothing. So, I'm gonna get out of here. Um, yeah, Henrietta, we'll get you all straightened out in your webinar. We will, we will get you get you going right um, so yeah that's it I don't have anything else for today I'm the new Seinfeld yeah I gotta tell you I got a whole lot of stuff going on at the salon um, I'm I was gonna have to take time off for my teeth but I might have to um, have some guest um, people so that I can take some time off to get my salon stuff finished oh Charlotte says I'm always giving you guys great information yes um, yeah, I definitely like forms better than tips. I just find I have less problems down the road. So I, well, I'm glad I can be of service. Um, I will try to find you guys some guest speakers, um, because I've got a lot of furniture to paint and a lot of stuff to do and money to make so I can pay my rent. Um, so yeah, so I'm get ready. For, I got to get ready for my upcoming webinar series just being weird now all right share it with your friends 
go sign up for the webinar series. If you haven't heard about it, go. Um, yeah, I need four surgical extractions. They're broken all in the back. Um, so, uh, yeah, I got to do some of that stuff. So, um, oh, thanks, Charlotte. Charlotte says, between the show and you have nails, you've been amazing. I don't know yet, Andrea. I'm still trying to find a dentist to do it. Um, so yeah, share with your friends. Please tell all of your nail friends about the University of Nails. It can't just be Charlotte out there screaming from the rooftops. And um, check out universityofnails.com where the webinar from that from Sunday's webinar is up there on the homepage. Oh, and I put the download up there for the um, practice sheet. So the practice sheet is there on the website somewhere. And um, the practice sheet I use for product consistency, and then I will do a practice sheet tomorrow. I'll do some practice nails tomorrow during Nails Over Coffee so that you guys can see how to use the sheet to practice your product's consistency. All right, University of Nails website. Yes, universityofnails.com. That's where the Sunday webinar thing is. And Henrietta, you should already be able to log in and watch the videos because your membership is already through. Um, oh, well, I don't know when I'm going to the dentist, hopefully soon. But in the meantime, I have a salon to run. The practice sheet. Yes, it is a practice sheet. And I believe I might have made it an article now. Or if you click on downloads, click on downloads, I think it's what you do. In the navigation bar on the homepage, if you click on downloads, it should take you there. And Charlotte says, everybody join you of nails. So thank you, Charlotte. All right, guys, I'm out. Ciao. Arrivederci. And tomorrow I'll do a practice, some practice nails and a practice sheet for you guys. Okay. Farewell. So long. Farewell. I'll be the same. Good night to you and you and you and you and you dun, 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 dun. yes um favorite movie sound of music adios ciao